Hibbler, Senior Portfolio Manager with Accenture Wealth Advisors. And today I'm bringing you an economic and market update following the Federal Reserve's monetary policy decision for April. The expectations for today's Fed meeting were for no real changes to policy and the Fed delivered on those expectations. The Fed will remain its funds rate target in a range of zero to 25 basis points. And the Fed will also maintain their monthly asset purchases of 80 billion in treasuries and 40 billion in agency mortgage-backed securities. The Fed's keeping their foot on the accelerator uh, with very accommodative monetary policy following uh, last year's recession due to the pandemic. The Fed acknowledged in their statement the improvement in recent economic activity and also noted that sectors that were most severely impacted by the pandemic have shown improvement uh, as progress uh, continues uh, with vaccinations and also following a robust policy response. They acknowledged the rise in inflation and attributed most of this to transitory factors. Uh, base effects are one of those factors as uh, weak inflation prints from last year roll off. Uh, but also in his press conference, Chair Powell noted uh, supply bottlenecks that uh, were also impacting prices. Throughout the pan pandemic, the Fed has linked uh, the economic rebound to the course of the virus. And in their statement, they mentioned uh, both the progress on vaccinations and also downgraded the virus's risk to the economy uh, by removing the uh, descriptor of considerable in those risks. The remainder of the Fed statement was unchanged from the prior meeting, uh, but to summarize their policy, uh, the Fed expects to maintain their current funds rate of zero to 25 basis points until uh, three, three goals have been achieved. One is uh, that the labor market is at their assessment of maximum employment. Two, that inflation is at their target of 2%. And three, that uh, inflation is on track to moderately exceed their 2% target for some time. Uh, the Fed will also maintain their asset purchase pace uh, until substantial further progress has been made toward their economic and inflation goals. In his post-meeting press conference, Chairman Powell stuck to the script and uh, for the part of it that I saw. And probably the most notable part of the press conference was his comments uh, in answering a question regarding uh, tapering their asset purchases. Essentially, those comments were that it's not time to start talking about talking about tapering asset purchases and that uh, it would be some time before substantial further progress had been made toward their goals. Uh, the expectations are currently for the Fed to begin their tapering discussions later this year. Uh, but we will need to watch and see the economic data bear that out. Following the statement's release at 2 p.m., both equity and treasury markets were little changed in response. As Chair Powell began his press conference, uh, the 10-year treasury yield rallied somewhat, dropping a few basis points to around 1.62%, uh, but equity markets remained little changed in, in response to it. Thank you for watching today. If you have any comments regarding the video, or would like more information about Accenture Wealth Advisors, visit our website at accentualwealth.com. Thank you.